Well, as you can see, I'm here at uh, one of the malls and um, it's getting packed slowly. Um, parking lots are very full. Everybody's doing their last minute Christmas shopping. Uh, in the evenings, if you go drive around the neighborhood, you see that the homes are decorated with lights. Uh, you can look through the windows, you see there's a Christmas tree, and the Christmas tree is lit up, presents under the tree. The homes are decorated. Uh, the other day I asked a few people, what does it mean, uh, you know, what, what, what does Christmas mean to you? And, uh, you know, one of them said that it means uh, giving. Uh, another person said it's, it's about spending time with family. And, uh, you know, as we see these decorations, we see people going shopping, uh, buying presents, and, you know, spending time with their loved ones. You know, of course, the schools are closed. Uh, many have taken off from their workplaces. And, uh, you know, they are at home. But, I mean, this is all that we can say. Is that the true meaning of Christmas? Of course, we know that Christmas is a, a pagan holiday. But this country and other countries have adopted those, um, you know, similar practices. And, and, but it's just, all, uh, it's just all the meaning of Christmas. You know, I believe that Christmas is a time that we need to reflect back our own life. We need to reflect back on our uh, relationship with others and to look back where we were, uh, what happens, you know, what happened in our life, what didn't happen, where were we, um, where are we now, where are we going? It's a time of reflection, you know, as we wind down this year, just a few more weeks or a week or maybe a few more days until the Christmas holidays or Christmas time. But more importantly, it's a time to reflect back on God's gift to us, Jesus Christ. You know, 2,000 years ago, God sent His Son to be born of a virgin. See, He was born in a manger when His mother Mary was about to deliver him. There was no, no room for them in the inn. So they had to stay in a manger. And Jesus was born in a manger. And he was born. When he was born, the angels appeared to the shepherds and said, we bring you good tidings of great joy for the whole world, to all the people. There's great joy to experience during this holiday time. There's great joy to experience. There are many people that are in sorrow, many people that could, can't afford gifts or cannot afford to have a Christmas dinner. Uh, they're in you know, difficult situations. But we can experience joy through Christ. You see, in the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, he created all things and He created man in His own image. He created Adam and Eve. And He wanted to have a relationship with them. He wanted to have a loving relationship with them. He talked with them. He walked with them. And there was a great love and relationship between them. And that's what God wanted. But in the midst of that, you know, they were tempted by the devil. The serpent came and tempted Adam and Eve. And they fell into sin and they disobeyed God. See, God is a holy God. He cannot exist where sin exists. So He cast them out of the garden. And because of that sin, we are all born into sin. And God realized that that relationship was broken. He needed a mediator. He needed a mediator to right that relationship. And God planned to send His Son. See, the Bible says, that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. See, God loved the whole world, not just one group of people. He loved you and me. He loved the whole world. And we have an opportunity to receive that gift of the Savior. See, when Jesus grew, He did many miracles. He preached the Gospel. He went and healed the blind. He made the lame to walk. He relieved the captives. He freed the captives from their burdens. And many believed in Him, but there was those that hated Him for their own gain. And they bore false witness against Him. And the government arrested Him. And they beat Him and they punished Him. 
and they continue to punish him and they bear more false witness and Jesus was ultimately crucified on the cross. His hands and feet were nailed to the cross. His blood was shed. They put a crown of thorns on his head and blood was dripping from his face, from his forehead. They punished him. And before Jesus died, he said, it is finished. And he died and they buried him in a tomb and they rolled a stone in front of that tomb. Three days later, his followers came to visit him at the tomb and they saw that the, the stone was rolled away. And an angel sitting on the stone saying, you seek Jesus of Nazareth, he's not here for he is risen. And they went back and told their other disciples and their friends that Jesus had rose from the dead. And Jesus appeared to them. Even the ones that didn't believe saw Jesus and they believed. This is God's plan. This is His gift. You know, the Bible says that we've all fallen short of the glory of God. But the Bible also says that if we confess our sins before Him, He is sure to forgive us. And He is sure to cleanse us from our sins. Today, during this Christmas time, let's reflect back on our life. Let's reflect back on our relationship with others. Let's remember the gift of the Savior, the gift of Jesus. See, Jesus was no ordinary man. He was the Son of God. He was fully God. The fullness of God was in Him. He was also human, but He was also fully God. And He came to this earth to die on the cross for your sins and mine. Perhaps you might not know of Jesus. Maybe you know of Him, but you don't know Him. And this is an opportunity for you to receive this gift of Jesus, the Savior, and time to reflect back on your life. Perhaps your life is not going the way that you want it to. Perhaps um, you're, in, you're living in sin. Whatever circumstances that you are, the Bible says that if you just confess your sins before Him, if you confess your sins before Jesus and say, Lord, I'm a sinner and I've sinned, I ask you to forgive my sin and come into my life and be the Lord of my life. That's all you have to say, and God, and He will come into your life, and He will rule over your life. So this holiday season, let the love of God and the joy of Jesus and His love, let that rule over our life and our relationships as we experience His joy during this holidays. May God richly bless you.